Hello everyone, welcome to Practical Computer Networks Discussion 2. I am Kumar Saurav again and I am having, having a bad day. So sorry if I do and if I make any mistakes. First, I get disturbed 4 times while making this video. And 5th time, I made this video. And I realized I forgot to start the recording. Yes, uh, I don't know what's happening to me. Anyway, I'm a little dizzy. Uh, it's uh, around 4 a.m. in the morning here. Still, let's start. In the previous video, what we saw in previous video, we discussed about what we are going to do in uh, this series. Who am I? And what am, what are my aims? And a little concepts of networks. Well. You it will be worth uh, watching that video if you if you feel like it anyway. So networks, computer networks, coolest thing ever. Yes, other than Counter Strike and uh, Dota and uh, some other things. Computer networks is very cool. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, really. So let's start. Whenever someone says computer I'm repeating this line for fifth time whenever someone says computer uh, computer networks basically this is what this is what I picture uh, this is what I pictureize this is what comes to my mind what is this okay here I'm sitting in my room in front of my <coughs> machine um, I'm connected to internet and uh, uh, I'm connected to internet and many other guys are connected to internet from all over the world suppose this guy is from New Delhi this guy is from New Jersey this guy is from okay not new not from a new city this guy is from Virginia Virginia and this guy is from Shanghai right and this server is located in uh, Richmond that's in Virginia right because that's that's uh, the place from where the Lamb of God is it's Richmond okay <clears throat> so I am connected to internet. What is internet? Internet is what is internet? It's a network of networks. It's a gigantic network. It's made up of made up of, of a different huge and small a lot of networks. That is what internet is. If you uh, this sometimes we call it cl cloud, right? Suppose some uh, somehow you get to look inside the, that cloud you know what you will see all you will see is different networks connected together in many fashion this is a network this is also a network this is also a network you can't imagine in how many ways they are connected for reliability of course there is also another network right these all are connected together and finally we are connected to it okay so this is an internet this is internet every network is connected to, together to form a, a big really big network that is internet and cloud and vans are inside it some parts are called van etc etc that's internet anyway so first building block of internet is local area network then comes um, wide area network etc etc so first local area network that's most basic thing that is where we reside uh, are you in a LAN uh, are you con con connected to a local area network one more thing I'm going to discuss about wired networks not wireless networks wireless networks have different theories and, and set different topologies etc etc I'm going to dis discuss about wired networks in wired networks and in LAN, in local area network, 
what do you use for connectivity what do you use to connect different computers okay if you are in lan check your computer there will be a thick wire connected to your computer or your piece your machine by a, a transparent uh, jack will be there with two lights or four lights uh, a blue a green and a red i guess so this is ethernet wire right and these are those connectors rj45 connectors i recall yes rj45 connectors these uh, connectors have uh, uh, many wires different colored wires for you know, for different for I'll leave it leave that these are rj45 connectors this uh, one connector is connected to your uh, Ethernet port. Ethernet port is the port where we connect the Ethernet, Ethernet wire, Ethernet cable, right? And Ethernet port is the is a part of network interface card. Network interface card is responsible for dealing with networks and for network activities. This is how a network interface card looks like. Sometimes we call it NIC. Uh oh. Nick, right. <coughs> this is already installed in your PC. You can see this is a uh, Ethernet um, port, and these are those lights I was talking about. This is already installed. This is inside your PC. You can't see it until you open your PC, right? You can have one or more uh, NIC. Anyway. And you are connected to uh, internet. Suppose this is a Google server. I am in. Uh, I am in Google. Horrible penmanship. Anyway, I am in India. Odisha, India. Right. I want to access a page of Google. I want to do a Google query, Google search. So. I send uh, I send a request to Google. Uh, there are routers and switches in between. There are main networks. Main networks. Suppose this is a network. Fine. Suppose my uh, my queries my uh, whatever transaction data transaction I'm doing with this Google server this particular Google server. Suppose my packets are taking this path. Back and forth, my packet is taking this path. Suppose for some reason, for some reason, <coughs> this path has damaged uh, by uh, technical problems. Might be there, or say it's sandy or it's tsunami. For that, this uh, line got broke. Right? What will happen? Uh, because I'm using Google, uh, so my definitely my packets will choose another path. And it will continue serving me. And since I'm not uh, using, a, I'm not doing some serious work, some serious transactions with in any financial database or something. So I don't need to worry. What if I'm doing some transaction with a bank, a bank's database? There might be a case when a trans data transaction is broke due to these things these uh, these networks and some of my transactions are lost in the way some of the suppose i'm updating my account uh, and those updates are lost because the connection broke for some reasons for some reason let's just say it for some reason my uh, updates are not able to reach to this uh, Server, then definitely I'll be doomed, right? So, internet is reliable, but less reliable than a dedicated line. What is a dedicated line? Let's say I'm rich enough to afford a lot of money, then I'll hire a dedicated uh, line directly to my uh, database server at my office in uh, New Jersey. On New Indiana, in Virginia, suppose, 
so what I will do I will hire some company uh, I will uh, con contact some companies who, who provides dedicated lines and I'll ask them that hey I need a dedicated line to my server at Virginia so they will provide me with their uh, you know with their dedicated line what whatever so what what happens in dedicated line this is their own personal network suppose AT&T suppose AT&T in it AT&T also provides a uh, dedicated line I suppose suppose I, 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 I'm, I have I'm using AT&T's dedicated line they have their own networks right so they have people monitoring their lines their servers very frequently so I get a private line to my server and so I get much more reliable connection to my server but for that I need a really a large amount of money to buy a dedicated line but I will get more reliability and I will get more security these lines are much more secure than internet since we are talking about hacking these are things we must take into consideration so once your packet gets out of your um, LAN it goes to WAN and uh, different networks <coughs> for long distance transaction they use fiber optics they are fast trust me and trust me they are class fiber optics is class anyway so this is a whole idea of a uh, whole uh, overall how internet what is the internet a very basic idea I'm sure you must be knowing this what is this this is a small network suppose this is my system this is me this is my friend this is my neighbor this is also my neighbor we are in LAN we are using Ethernet wire we are using Ethernet wire doesn't mean we are in a LAN Ethernet wire is a part of it fine so don't get confused I will explain all the technical details of a LAN later later videos don't worry uh, and there are a lot of career options in networking a career here a career there uh, you are in Cisco then if you if you want to go to Cisco then uh, I think Cisco is doesn't matter what I think but Cisco is a, a mighty warrior in <laughs> networks there are also networks there are also careers for the guys who uh, who are you know who do these wire things they connect uh, wires they do hardware networkings and there are also career options for software networking guys there is a course CCN Cisco certified network, network associate then you go for Cisco certified network professional security professional etc etc very good things you must uh, just go to just google it CCN and you will get all the things cleared and you will get a career option a much more interesting career option than my career anyway so if you use cisco simulators and softwares and cisco books if you refer them you will find these notations these symbols all around the book this is a symbol for switch in cisco and this is a symbol for router from now on I'll be, use, I'll be using these symbols for switches and routers so please remember these symbols please okay this is a cloud this is not a cloud this is cloud or van or anything this is just larger than my LAN right suppose I want to access uh, I want to copy some some movies which um, some movies which are in Basina, which are in uh, which are with uh, my friend my neighbor here okay my neighbor has some movies and I want to copy them if you use Windows there will be there is a network explorer if ha if the if my neighbor has shared their movies then I'll be use uh, I I'll be able to see the list of those movies by internet by network explorer right 
Now, if I want to copy that, mo copy those movies, of course there are also data transactions. Also, I send request to my neighbor's <coughs> laptop, my lab neighbor's uh, system that I need this particular movie, I need this particular data, and a systems my neighbor's system will reply me, reply me back. But this switch, it's center of my whole network. Every packet will pass through this switch. Suppose I'm sending a packet destined for this guy, this guy here. This switch will strip strips out this packet. This switch will process the packet. It will see it, it will see what are the informations which are inside that packet. It will see the source address, the destination address, and accordingly it will send the packet to it's uh, to whom it may destine it may concern to whom it may concern it's a catchphrase I, I read somewhere to whom it may concern ah in applications right anyway so suppose uh, this packet is destined for this this computer my switch will check uh, check the destination address and if the destination address is within my um, network within my LAN then it will send that packet to this guy right then then the transfer will start now what if I want to access a page of uh, let's say www.twitter.com Twitter right you know Twitter right Twitter Definitely, Twitter server is not in my local area network. It's not. It's not in my LAN. So my packet will go to this switch. It uh, it it will uh, it it ha it will um, contain my source address, which will be mine at mine, and the destination address will be of Twitter server address. Right. So my switch will process the packet. It is. It will check the destination address. It will see that the destination address is not within my network. It will send the packet to its default gateway. Now, what is the default gateway? For now, let's say default gateway is very next device to which a particular device will send the will will send the data, right? for me for my computer this switch is default gateway because whatever transaction i want to do with network or internet first i will ask this guy first i will go to this guy i will send every packet to this guy then after that it will direct me towards to the right path okay now suppose I have I have sent a packet to this route this switch and uh, destination address is not within my LAN and this switch is connected to a router and my network so obviously the default gateway for this switch will be of this router get it please ask whatever you feel you are having trouble with whatever your, whatever your doubts are f please feel free to ask in comments i'll be more than more than happy to answer your doubts okay now <coughs> this router may be a starting route uh, a entry router for your van or maybe a router of your isp isp may be your isp is your internet service provider like in India there there is PSNL, MTNL and I don't know about USA okay AT&T maybe whatever so this may be the router of the router of um, your ISP now this router is connected to many other networks right this network this is switch it, it has more computers or, or less computers and more networks and more networks finally it is connected to the cloud 
fine now twitter's twitter uh, server is somewhere around here so now my packet will go through some weird network paths some zigzag paths finally it will reach to my destination packet will trace back whole path and it will come to me it will come to me <coughs> now <coughs> for me for my computer this whole thing is a cloud okay uh -oh. for my computer this whole thing is a cloud and for any guy for anyone sitting over here suppose in my network there is a there is a http server okay which is hosting some website suppose this guy trying this guy is trying to access this guy or this girl trying to access this website so packets from his or her computer will travel through whole these uh, path it will come to finally my network right so for this guy this whole thing is cloud understand this whole thing is cloud for this guy for me this whole thing is cloud get it now uh, i think you you have the you have a rough idea of what is a cloud what is cloud what we refer to when we say cloud okay for me if this whole thing is a cloud Oh, sorry this whole thing is a cloud it's messy for me this whole thing is a cloud then this is my lan this is my local area network this is not the exact definition i'm just stating it okay so this is a part of lan uh, uh, the technical details of lan, LAN as i said i'll express it later so you get the basic idea of what a cloud of about cloud and uh, lan and network etc etc some basic uh, uses that some basic applications uses that require internet or network connectivity there might arise you might uh, uh, ask me a question why have you written okay uh, hello kumar you why have you written internet slash network why not just internet because if we use web browser we have to use internet to get anything well my friend that's not fully true consider consider a scenario this is switch this is my lan and in my lan there is a http server right there is a http server which is hosting some site and is in my lan so uh, if i want to access that website i will be using my web browser but i don't need internet connection i just need my network only my network to do it right so i will just type uh, i will just type in uh, the ip address of uh, this server and i will get what i want but it's not a uh, it's not a survey figure but almost 98% of the times we use web browser to access the pages which are located elsewhere which are located outside our lan We are located in the cloud, in some remote locations, right? I am sitting in India, and uh, I am accessing Google via my web browser, Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome, whatever. 
and the Google server server is in suppose New York, New York. Then I need internet connection to access pages of that server, right? FTP. Um, talk about FTP servers. Well, I'll talk about that later. Database applications. Consider a situation. Uh, okay, like I use Aircel. It's a telecom company, telecom service provider company. Suppose I, I have some problems. I have some doubts. I call the operator of Aircel. Right. I call the operator of Aircel. The call center is in, uh, let's say, for New Delhi. Right. What's wrong? I don't know. I'm calling. It's me. It's me. I'm calling the Aircel operator. It's in New Delhi. The uh, call center is in New Delhi. Uh, when I call, the operator checks my number, and it gets de and the operator clicks on details and whatever detail I have given with I have given when I was filling out my registration form for phone number, it will be flashed there. Okay, like my uh, my name, my address from where I am, my date of birth maybe, my father's name, my mother's name, whatever. Whatever I have given, the operator can have if he is authorized. Now, I uh, I talk to the operator, I talk to the operator, uh, my queries are solved, then I, then I cut the call. Right? And the machine over here records those details that okay Kumar Saurav has called on this date and had and talked with this particular operator for this much time now all the data will get stored in a remote centralized database and this database will store all the details which I which I just provided anyway and there are lot of operators lots of operator which are connected to that server okay hundreds of thousands of operators are there fine next time I call suppose I call next time to this operator this operator can retrieve all the data which are stored in this database and then he will be able to know that when when did I call for how much time did I talk you know, and all those things. This database may be inside that building, may be located elsewhere. Suppose uh, the office, the um, operator is in New Delhi, and the server is located in Mumbai, right? So operator will access that server, will access files of that server, the database, and it ha the operator will have all the informations. What is basically we doing here? We are using some database applications to retrieve the data and using network. That's what I wrote. Right? Now instant messengers. Oh come on, you know it. Do I need to explain? Okay, I I'll name some. Yahoo. MSN. I don't think I need to explain. FB chat. I don't think I need to explain. You guys are clever enough. Email. Okay. Same. Again, same. Gmail. Yahoo. Hotmail. Etc. Etc. Online games. Have you played Counter Strike? I played Counter Strike online. So, <clears throat> here I am sitting in India, play uh, connected to a server. I see a common port in uh, Counter Strike servers is two zero seven one five or something like that. Anyway, so I connect to a server. 
suppose an, an international server someone is at uh, uh, is it, it is in someone is in Beijing playing counter strike on on same server and someone is in Manhattan someone is in Manhattan playing on that server suppose I am targeting this guy with my AK-47 and I click my left mouse button so what basically is happening here the game the counter strike machine the um, counter strike process or whatever I don't want to get into those things my computer will send data to this server that okay uh, this is the screen Saurav has targeted this coordinate this particular coordinate with his bullet from this distance the server here will process all the data will see if this guy is at this position then the bullet will hit him if this guy is not at this coordinates then bullet will not hit him fine if the bullet hits him then the uh, the uh, then what, what will the reaction what will the what will be the result this guy may die the character the character of this guy may die so if this guy's health is low then definitely his character will die for let's say arctic avengers arctic arctic avengers is dead so it will fill it will fill down it will fall down and this information also also this information is passed to me who killed the, that guy to this guy who is being killed and this guy who might be a spectator right so so this server is located remote in some remote location all the data are going to it going uh, and coming from it and to it this server is processing the data and sending reports to <coughs> me to me to a guy in Manhattan to a guy in Beijing right so that's how uh, online games uses internet and network connectivity there are some factors which highly influences the performance of a network there is speed there is delay and there is availability I will talk about these things later for now the, let's rule it, it out for now I will talk about speed what what is your internet connection speed well, my speed is 1.5 mbps 1.5 mbps what does mbps stands for some of you <coughs> might say it's megabyte per second no sir you are wrong it's not megabyte per second it's megabit per second I will I will tell the difference what is a byte a byte is single character let's say I write a it's one byte I wrote ABC this whole is three byte right now one zero two four byte equals to one megabyte one byte into uh, byte into one zero two four equals to megabyte once again one zero two four megabyte equals to one gigabyte one zero two four gigabyte equals to one terabyte and let's go goes on this is the hierarchy you need to follow one zero two four one zero two four but this bit thing is exception what is the relation between bit and byte anyone yes you are right 
वन बाइट हॉरिबल पेनमैनशिप इक्वल्स टू एट बिट वन बाइट इक्वल्स टू एट बिट फाइन वट इज अ बिट यू नो बाइनरी वन इट्स अ बिट जीरो अगेन अ बिट वन वन इट्स टू बिट्स सो इफ आई राइट वन वन जीरो 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 वन 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 दिस इज टोटल एट बिट्स एंड दैट विल बी इक्वल्स टू वन बाइट clear now my connection is 1.5 mbps that means 1.5 mega bits per second not bytes per second so suppose your if your connection is 8 mbps 8 mbps uh oh 8 mbps right then your connection will be 8 megabit per second or 1 mega byte per second clear 8 megabit per second or 1 megabytes per second because the conversion unit is conversion rate is 1 byte equals to 8 bit One into eight x byte x bit into eight equals to x uh, equals to byte bit into eight equals to byte. Suppose you have five bit, that means you have four. Suppose you have uh oh yes. Suppose you have <coughs> wait a second. Yes. Suppose you have. Sixteen bits. Then you will have two byte. Sorry, this is division. Yes, this is this whole is division. You get the overall idea, right? Sixteen bit equals to two byte. And two into one zero two four byte equals to one megabyte. So there will be okay. You get the overall idea. So, suppose three uh, into one zero two four megabyte equals to three gigabyte, right? So that's all about speed. Now need of topologies. I'll wrap it up very soon. Uh, topologies. Topology is a uh, a way in which we connect different computers. it's very old topology bus topology in which there's a thick cable it's it is like a backbone and uh, all the thin all the other computers all computers are connected to it by thin cable get it this is thin cable this is thick cable like suppose you are using some uh, tv cable tv cable right there is a your uh, service provider will um, get you a connection from a from from a from a wall jack in your wall this wall there is there will be a jack in, in it you plug your uh, tv cable and you get the connection what happens this is a single cable runs through whole your block and it provides connection to everyone What's the, what's the problem of this topology? Suppose somehow this cable is damaged at this point. What will happen? Only this and the service is coming from this way. So only this guy will get the uh, service, and these two will be doomed. Right? <coughs> so this is a very old um, topology anyway. then comes ring topology have you heard of token rings 
there's a token it passes around all the computers uh, in the ring and it uh, it passes that data to all the all the computers right. this was ring topology nothing more to tell about this okay you know most awesome topology the star of all the topologies yes it's star i mean it it's star topology this is called star topology in this topology in this method there is a switch in between <coughs> and different computers are connect connected to it right so suppose even this link is broken then service to these computers will be uninterrupted they can they can share data among them they can they can share data from internet get it only this guy will be left out so basically what topologies we are we using these days <clears throat> is it bus is it ring or is star let's see uh consider this figure these are switches wait these are switches okay and different computers are connected some of you might say dude this is dude this is a uh, bus topology because there is a backbone running in here and all the computers are all the devices are connected to it some of you might say no this is a uh, star topology because there is a switch in center and the computers are, and the devices are connected to it right if you take whole, whole, all of these as a single node then it will be a star but this is neither this is a combination of both it is combination of, of both the ring and both of both the bus and the star this is a hybrid of both the topologies uh, okay uh, this is what we use nowadays basically this is what we use with some um, with some addition we use this <coughs> so how was it how was today's class I, i was exhausted so sorry if i disappointed you anyway you know there are a lot of career options in com computer networks you can go anywhere you want you want to go to hardware networks you will have a good earning there you want to go to software networking school go for anything you know fiber optics you can work only with fiber opti optics you can work only with uh, routers and switches and routing tables net computer networks is very cool first it might seem like building roads to different stations to different machines building roads but it's much more than that trust me it's way cool anyway i want to wrap this up as quickly as possible it's for uh, it's, pa it's past four so thank you for watching thanks one again thanks once again bye bye